Does your furry friend take over your bed every night? It's time to reclaim your space while giving them the comfort they deserve with the coldest, cozy dog bed. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description to buy now on Amazon. He played hard as nails Maximus in Ridley Scott's epic Gladiator, but Russell Crowe didn't show any fighting spirit when one of his entourage got into a scrap outside the Stars gig in West London. Cops were called at around 11.30 p.m. on Wednesday after his tour promoter became embroiled in a row with fans and autograph hunters who had queued to meet the Hollywood star. Russell has been touring the UK with his band, The Gentleman Barbers, and was playing the Shepherd's Bush Empire. An onlooker told me the Oscar winner looked bemused at the unfolding brawl, then turned and legged it back inside through the stage door when things turned nasty. A feat made all the more impressive because he was wearing flip-flops. They said, Russell came out to meet about 30 fans who had gathered outside the gig. A man who we believed was the tour promoter was shouting at a few people for pushing, but out of nowhere it turned a bit nasty. This bloke started shouting and swearing and calling one of the fans a C asterisk asterisk asterisk. He then saw he was being filmed and grabbed the guy's phone, then ran off down the street. The man who'd had his phone taken chased him down the road. They grappled and the promoter ended up on the ground. Russell looked absolutely horrified at what was happening and made a quick U-turn back inside the venue. It was absolute chaos. Four police cars turned up and the coppers were talking to people about what happened. The promoter seemed pretty badly winded but no one had much sympathy for him because he seemed to be acting a bit aggressively. Ultimately, none of this would have happened if he'd kept his cool when he was asking people not to push. Russell never came back outside again. He must have been pretty embarrassed by the whole thing. It was a proper commotion. Russell's indoor garden party tour, which also features Irish singer Lorraine O'Reilly, headed to Leeds last night. The actor is due on stage in Inverness tonight for his final gig of the UK tour. I hope he's got his fighting trousers ready, just in case. It's good to see Jade though while supporting print media, even though she is using this mag to cover herself up rather than for reading. She posed with just a copy of polyester over her boobs as she opened up about life after Little Mix. Speaking to the mag, which is out later this summer, she said, from 18 until now, my whole life had been scheduled. Little Mix always had a year-long diary in place. To not have that anymore was so scary. But once I got over that, I was like, this is really exciting. She is set to hit the top 10 with debut solo single Angel of My Dreams today and told Apple Music One about her mum Norma's reaction to the track. Jade said, she went, oh, I don't get it. And I thought, well, perfect. Hun, Norma, you're not me demographic. Now she's listened to it a million times, she's obsessed. Celine Dion will make her live comeback during Friday's Olympic opening ceremony in Paris. The My Heart Will Go On singer is set to be joined by Lady Gaga for a special performance of classic 1947 Edith Piaf song La Vie en Rose. Lady Gaga covered the song in 2018 in the remake of hit film A Star Is Born. I first told last month how Celine, Wright, who will be dressed by legendary French fashion house Dior, had been formally asked to perform by Olympics bosses. It will be her first live performance in four years after battling the crippling neurological condition Stiff Person Syndrome, or SPS. Celine has also been tipped to announce a Las Vegas residency, to kick off at the end of the year. The UK will return to compete at Eurovision next year, despite yet another dismal result in Sweden in May. Ali Alexander finished 18th out of 25 with his song, Dizzy and faced criticism from some for not pulling out of the contest in protest over Israel's participation. But the BBC has insisted we will send an act when the event goes to Switzerland next year. Fingers crossed, we can break the top 10 this time. Fans of Jenny Falconer's podcast Run Pod are in for a treat, as she has launched a spin-off series to coincide with the Paris Olympics. The radio presenter, above, will meet some of the country's most highly decorated athletes, who will tell all about their experiences of the games and lift the lid on what it is really like to win gold for your country. Jenny's run pod got me thrugged.